I know a couple of people were curious about how Nerva from Project Orc is supposed to look. One lovely from Tumblr actually reached out to me asking about how Nerva actually, how would I describe how Nerva to look? So let's read it off. So in case any of you guys want to draw some fun stuff for Nerva, by all means, now you have a visual reference of what to use. Hey, I just got back from your Project Orc video, and I was wondering, the writer, do you have a description hammered out of what they look like, not only for yourself, but also for any potential artist whom are interested? Thank you kindly and everything, Peace Man. I like Peace Man. That's a good one. Why, yes! The Crenol are very tall, skinny aliens, with cloven hoofed feet, one pair of eyes, with double eyelids, and four arms. Their skin ranges from lavender, azure, teal, seafoam green, and sky blue. Nerva, in particular, is lavender. The colors originate from Karina's plant life, and the denizen skins become the colors of the first plants they ingest. Their clothing consists of many long robes with reinforced plating to guard their vital organs. The robes contain hidden pockets within the sleeves for tomes, kits, and weaponry in case of emergencies. Nerva always keeps a tome for note-taking, two self-defense stun staffs, and a memento of his first contact with humans. A ragged little green man doll. A small human child brought me to a fair and won it with this hammer contest thing that they do. It's very precious to me and I will protect it with my life. While we're here, let's talk about a few other fun facts about Nerva. Nerva is actually a short version of what his full name is supposed to be. The humans just started calling him Nerva because it was easier to remember. Also because it fully reflected his very short-tempered personality. His full name is Nerva Casano. He also decided to change what the abbreviation for the project stood for in Project Orc. The rulers of Krina named it Orc, which stood for Ominous Reckless Covenants. Before Nerva made first contact and understood that humans weren't so bad, he decided to rename the project Oversee, Restrain, Coexist. Which does reflect a lot more for what the project is supposed to be doing, but also understanding if they found out the project name was calling them Ominous and Reckless, they would probably do something very ominous and very reckless. And the final fun fact that we're going to talk about is might also be what I plan to have be the pilot episode for. The first human that Nerva made contact with is a young boy named Riley, a young boy living in the heart of the Bronx, where, in my opinion, looking into this series, it was an ideal spot for Nerva to see truly the best and some of the worst in humans. But we'll actually dive into that when I actually start writing this series more. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!